بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم عزیز دوستو ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی پروٹیکٹنگ گروپس سو بفور اسٹڈینگ دیز پروٹیکٹنگ گروپس لیٹ اس انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ پروٹیکٹنگ گروپس آر فسٹ آف آل ٹرائی ٹو ٹرانسلیٹ دس ورڈ protecting groups meaning it sounds that uh, these are uh, some kind of groups which are uh, protecting something now what kind of groups are these uh, if we consider our chemistry point of view so these are some functional groups these function groups are protecting something so uh, their meanings by words is just this this these are some functional groups which are protecting something now let's come uh, see this image he is also protecting something so uh, if our daily life these uh, type of uh, guards these types of policemen they are also some groups who are protecting something now in our chemistry point of view protecting groups are the chemical functional groups that are introduced in molecules to ensure chemoselectivity in a chemical reaction let's uh, uh, repeat this definition these are chemical function groups that are introduced in molecules to ensure chemoselectivity in a chemical reactions now uh, what is chemoselectivity some people say this term as chemoselectivity so uh, both sounds good chemoselectivity as we say chemistry uh, do you say chemistry no so uh, i say chemoselectivity but most of the uh, uh, in most of the places chemoselectivity is uh, also being used frequently so both are fine and both uh, sounds good to me now what is chemoselectivity chemoselectivity term is introduced if any given molecule there are a number of functional groups and out of those functional groups uh, only some of them take part in the chemical reaction while other others remain intact so this kind of reaction may be called as chemoselective reaction for example here uh, in this molecule there are two type of function group one is ketonic and other is ester function group both these functional groups are susceptible to reduction by using lithium aluminium hydride now if we want reduction on any one of these two then it in other words we want a chemoselective reaction but uh, that reaction could only be done in the presence of some protecting groups if there is uh, no protecting group used then both these functional groups will undergo reduction under these conditions as both of these carbonyl groups either it is ketonic carbonyl group or it is ester functional group both will undergo reduction in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride and that it goes both are converted into corresponding alcoholic groups on the other hand 
if we are using some function group that is going to protect just like that guard which is uh, uh, being shown on my image on my slide he is protecting someone now here uh, if we convert this ketonic functionality into some acetal functionality then this function group transformation has now enabled this ketonic functionality to resist reduction reaction now this molecule uh, could be reduced in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride but only one functionality is susceptible to reduction and that functionality is ester functionality because as you notice that there is no ketonic functionality in this group in this molecule because one is ester functionality and you see other is not ketonic it is acetal functionality so this acetal is not susceptible to reduction that is why ester undergoes reduction to form corresponding alcohol and ketone remains intact here in this section again uh, uh, please uh, focus on the starting that there were two function groups one was ketonic function group other was ester functional group now what we targeted what was our target what was our focus our focus was to keep intact ketonic group to safeguard this ketonic group to protect this ketonic group in other words we want this ketonic group Uh, in unreacted form and we were willing to have the reduction of only ester group so that target was achieved by using a protecting group which protected ketonic functionality because now we treated it with ethyl alcohol in uh, in uh, ac conditions and hydrous ac conditions that ketone can readily converted into corresponding acetal diethyl acetal while ester functionality under these conditions remain intact now when we treated it with lithium aluminum hydride ester functionality reduced to corresponding alcoholic functionality we got ch2oh group here in the position of ester group in the next step we use aqueous acid or in other words dilute acid having plenty of water in it so under these aqueous acid conditions ch2o that was obtained from uh, ester functionality ch2o negative it is now converted into ch2oh at the same time this aqueous acid converted acetal functionality back into ketonic functionality this regeneration of original functional group is known as deprotection so here are two phenomena being discussed here being described here one is conversion of ketone into acetal that is called as protection the other is acetal into ketonic group back that is called deprotection and the next thing we have ensured chemical activity in this section by using this protecting group now what is we, why we require protection why is protection needed protection is needed to ensure 
chemo selectivity as in this reaction to achieve the targeted product in maximum yield when there are no side reactions when there are no undesired products formed in other words when there are no impurities in your reaction only you will get your targeted product in maximum yield to gain product in pure form this point is already discussed to keep intact the desired functional group as uh, we require chemo selectivity it means we require some uh, functional groups to remain intact now the next point is proto protecting groups for alcohols as you have noticed in your uh, previous slide we have protected ketone group by conversion into corresponding acetal now the question is that could we use the same protection for all type of functional groups yes your answer is no because if we require protection for any specific group then that specific group could be converted into some other specific groups for example if you are going to protect carboxylic acid group you can you can form its ester but if you are going to protect amino group you cannot convert into any ester because amino group do not form esters amino group does not form esters so similarly if you are going to protect into uh, protect alcohols so there are some specific transformations that alcohols could under, undergo for example these modifications could be performed to protect alcoholic group from undergoing unnecessary conditions unnecessary reactions the first one is by conversion into ether yes alcohol could be converted into corresponding ethers for example you have you may have studied williamson's ether synthesis what we do in williamson's ether synthesis you take an alkyl halide treat it with some alcohol in the presence of base and you get some ether so here one reagent is available that is benzyl bromide we treat some alcohol with benzyl bromide and we get corresponding benzyl ether now this protection is called benzyl protection protection of alcohol by benzyl group here we have used a base and you know that base is used in every reaction where acids are formed as by product so these acids which are formed as by product they interfere with our original reaction and they cause hindrance for our reaction to proceed forward that is why to avoid these hindrances to avoid these interactions from acids we require some bases bases quench these acids and our reactions proceed with handsome rate here alcohol is treated with triphenyl methyl group triphenyl methyl bromide this group is also known as triphenyl so 
alcohol is being treated with trietyl bromide in the presence of some base the resultant ether is formed it is it may be called as trietyl ether now in other words here alcohol is being protected by a trietyl group so in in this conversion conversion of alcohols into ethers we have performed two reactions one is protection of alcohol with benzyl group and other is protection of alcohol with trietyl group now how these groups are deprotected when we have protected our alcohol our alcoholic functionality with some protecting group for example benzyl or trietyl then we must know that at a later stage we would require their deprotection as well so we must know that how to deprotect these protecting groups for example in this case this is a benzyl ether it could be easily deprotected by using palladium catalyzed hydrogenation reaction and in that case we will get back our alcoholic functionality but note that there are uh, some things about benzyl group we must know benzyl group is not selective at all wherever it finds an alcohol it will protect it will react that alcohol or in other words it will readily go to that alcohol and protect and protect her so meaning benzyl group is uh, in that case benzyl group is uh, uh, not selective it is going to protect every kind of alcohol on the other hand let's go towards trietyl alcohol trietyl alcohol could, could be uh, trietyl protection could be deprotected by a number of ways for example we can use 1% iodide solution in methanol to get alcohol back we could use dilute ac conditions to deprotect this trietyl group and we will get the our alcohol back and here trietyl group is selective in protection you notice that this group is a very bulky group and due to its bulkiness it could not protect secondary and tertiary alcohols it could protect only primary alcohols and here i have used the term mostly that is trietyl group protects primary alcohols in most of the cases only primary alcohols but there are some literature reports which deal that <coughs> if specific conditions are given to this uh, trietyl halide for example if we are going to activate this trietyl halide by heating this reaction by using excess of this trietyl chloride so these activating conditions could be used for trietyl attachment towards secondary alcohols as well but most of the cases under normal conditions by using uh, quantitative ratios what are quantitative ratios if alcohol is one mole we are using trietyl halide in uh, as for maximum 1.1 equivalent 1.1 moles and now 
if the given molecule which is going to be protected it contains both primary and secondary alcohols and we we are going to stir our uh, molecule with uh, 1.1 equivalent of trietyl bromide under normal conditions not very hot uh, uh, and harsh conditions that only primary alcohol functionality will undergo protection so trietyl group uh, it could protect primary alcohols it is stable under basic conditions and it could be removed under ac conditions mild ac conditions the next conversion is if we are going to protect alcohols we could transform these alcohols into esters now in the first reaction you notice that alcohol is being treated with acetic and hydride in the presence of pyridine and a basic conditions then we are going to get corresponding ester now this is acetic and hydride which which we have used here on treatment with alcohols it is converted into corresponding ester on the other hand if we treat this alcohol with benzoyl chloride this is benzoyl chloride how we are getting corresponding ester both these esters are susceptible to reaction with sodium methoxide methoxide is a uh, uh, highly electron rich ion it is a strong base as well and we know the principle that strong bases are strong nucleophiles so it readily attacks on the carbonyl carbon atom of this ester group resulting in the breaking of carbon oxygen bond and we are in turn getting our alcohol back same is the case with alkyl benzoates here again sodium methoxide attacks on the carbonyl carbon pi bond breaks when it reverts carbon oxygen bond uh, breaks as well and we are getting our alcohol back now here until now we have studied four protecting groups one is benzyl group other is trietyl group next is acetyl group and finally the last here is benzoyl group now we are going to study some reactions in the trietyl protection i had talked that trietyl group is selective for only primary alcohols mostly and i have mentioned that uh, basically there are some literature reports which are showing that trietyl groups under uh, activating conditions under heating conditions reacts with secondary alcohols as well and it protects them but if we are going to uh, require chemo selectivity with trietyl group then we must use uh, trietyl group in uh, quantitative ratios in mole ratios equivalent to the uh, alcohol and the reaction should be allowed to proceed under normal conditions not very harsh conditions then only protection of trietyl takes place uh, by primary alcohols only here this is very brilliant example of uh, selective protection in the starting there is uh, a symmetrical alcohol 
which is being treated with benzyl bromide but we have controlled its quantity we have controlled its equivalence or in other words we have controlled its mole ratio it is only 1.1 equivalent we have not given the excess of benzyl bromide to protect both of these hydroxyl groups and in turn we are getting only one hydroxyl group being transformed into corresponding benzyl ether while the other is remaining intact this is the major product formed in this reaction and uh, we are uh, causing we are we are forcing selectivity of protection of this diol with benzyl group and you already know benzyl group is not selective at all but we have controlled this selectivity by controlling the mole ratios of benzyl bromide and you notice here we are we have provided temperature conditions not very harsh that is out of our room temperature here this is the protection of uh, some monosaccharide uh, by trityl group we have used trityl group in 1.1 equivalent now shown here reaction conditions are normal and in this case only primary hydroxyl group is being protected while the rest of secondary hydroxyl groups remain intact thank you very much thank you for your patience